Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Ross with Stammer and today I'm excited to show you one of the coolest features that we've added to the platform since we've launched, which is white label API. So basically what this means is now you can create other applications, you can connect it to different things like Zapier, make.com or directly with any other applications API to be able to interface uh, with your account and with your chatbots. So what's really cool is, so if you're logged into app.stammer.ai, which is how everybody logs in prior to adding their custom domain, all of the links across the entire platform will be shown as Stammer links. But once you log into your white labeled version, all of that changes to be basically your custom domain. So that also now includes a new section in the left-hand column called API. So what's really cool is not only did we make the API, we made it fully white labelable from, from the start. So the name and logo is changed up here and the actual URLs and endpoints throughout the entire API documentation are customized to you and your agency based off of your custom domain. And these are all functional. So this is the actual URL that you would use to message a chatbot to then receive a response and then be able to send that response out to anywhere else. There's also some other information down here about Python and JavaScript. So this is if you're a developer and you actually want to integrate and use the API for you know within your own uh, application, that's also possible. But most of us are gonna be using this with applications like Zapier or Make or uh, GHL, for example, will be another, uh, another big one. So typically how that is gonna be done is, I mean, it, it's actually pretty simple. So with, with GHL specifically, I'll show you a quick, quick example. If we go in, we can make a new automation and workflow. I mean, and this is how simple essentially the, the workflow automation is once you get inside of GHL. One of the things to note is you wanna make sure that you always allow re-entry. So that way when a user is asking multiple queries in a conversation like most people do, they can actually receive a response for all those queries. The trigger in this automation is customer messages as a customer reply, and we can change this reply channel to be kind of, you know, anything, Facebook Messenger, Instagram, DM, SMS, whatever it may be. That is going to feed us the message that we're then going to send a chatbot on stammer.ai. So if we're in our white labeled account here, there's a few different things that we can see that we're gonna need to know. The chatbot UUID, the query, which is the message from the user, and then we're gonna need to know the uh, API endpoint URL right here. And basically we're gonna take all that information and just simply paste it into the custom webhook. So we're gonna make sure that the event is post. We're gonna make, uh, we're making, this is all specific to GHL. So authorization is gonna be none because we're gonna add that in as a header. And so what we can do is simply take this, we can copy the link right here, we can go right here and just simply paste it in right here. Authorization, you're, we're literally typing out the word authorization in the, in the header. And then for the uh, token or the key, we're writing out the word token, then space, and then you're gonna paste in your API key. And to get your API key, you can go back into your dashboard and that's gonna be this API token. So you can click copy to clipboard like that. And then you're gonna paste that in like so right there, like bam. And so now that will provide the authorization for your account. And then we need to add the chatbot UUID and the query. So the chatbot UUID is gonna be found on, on the actual individual chatbot. So if we go into any one of these, we can click view details and you see now that there's a field here called chatbot UUID. So this will now allow you to use this chatbot specifically in this workflow. The query is the actual message. So as it starts, when you first create this, it's not gonna have this uh, request success. So what we need to do is test that. So prior to us adding in the message body here, which is a custom variable from the trigger up here. So when a user sends a message through this trigger, it creates this custom variable or updates this custom variable every single time with the message that the user has sent. So that's the message that we're passing through through this variable to Stammer right in this value. But if we just tried to send this right now, if we click uh, save response and we wanna test it out, 
got to select a user from your account. We'll just select myself. This is going to throw us an error. And this is because it's essentially sending nothing. So when, when you test this out, it's going to send whatever is in here to the, uh, to the chatbot in Stammer. But if this is empty, then it's going to not work. So what we need to do is come in here and just type in something like, hello there or you know what can you do or whatever it may be and that will then it will allow us to successfully test this webhook which will then allow us to save this action which then allows us to then change hello there to the message body dynamic variable that we had before so now if we go in and we type in my name again and go in here send test request this is now going to give us a positive success and this was going to show us the message. So this is the status of the response. And then the answer is actually the response from the AI chatbot. So hmm, I'm not sure what you're referring to. Yeah, that's because I just said hello there. So what we can do now is click save action. And this is now and this now allows us to then use the responses that come from this section in another action. So now we can add the secondary action of sending that message back to the user. And so the way that we do that is we can go into custom variables. We now see that we have a custom webhook variable and we can see that there's a response and inside the data, there's an answer. And if we click this answer, you can see that this is where that dynamic variable. So this is, this is going to contain the response from the AI that we can then send back to the user. So if we just click save action, this will now send back the AI response to the user. So now this is almost done. What we need to do is go back into here and basically just change this to message body. So there's an, a weird glitch or error in here where if we just went in here, clicked and message body, it's not gonna work. So what we can do is go in here real quick, just so we can get that variable super easily, click message body, and then we're going to select it, exit out and paste it in here and then click save action. So now this has the, the dynamic variable from the message and it will now take in that message from the user, send that message or query to Stammer AI. In this same step, it's gonna get and retrieve the response from Stammer AI and then be able to then send that best message back to the user on the platform that they sent the message to. And so in reality, what that looks like is if you have it connected to one of your Facebook pages, which I do for this example, I so realized after the fact that my face was covering the actual chat widget itself, but the idea here is now the AI chatbot is sitting behind Facebook Messenger. So I can ask it pretty much any question like, how much is it? And this, this chatbot that I have connected is all trained on Stammer information. So it should return, it should return the cost of there we go so it shows the three different pricing and tiers of the of the stammer plan so the idea here is like now this is a customer support chat bot that is exactly the same as it would be on your website chat widget but now you could sit it behind your facebook page like i'm doing so right here or you could sit it behind your instagram page linkedin kind of pretty much anything essentially and be able to use the ai and then send a response back to the user natively within the platform so the cool thing is not only will this work in jhl but this will also work in zapier so it's just like we set this up in GHL, we're simply copying and pasting over the variables like the URL, the chatbot UUID, the query, and the authorization and the token ID. All That's essentially those four things is all you need to, uh, to uh, connect this to any other platform or application uh, on the internet. So it's really gonna be exciting to see kind of what use cases that you guys use for this. I'm really excited to see uh, all, the, all the different applications and uh, and information that comes about this. So um, there'll be more endpoints coming soon. That's another thing to, to mention. Um, and we'll be doing more and more tutorials as we get, uh, as we become aware of more of these use cases from, from, uh, from what you guys are telling us. So stay tuned because we'll be making more of those. But in the meantime, if you guys have any questions, please let me know, leave a comment down below or uh, reach out to us directly and uh, talk to you in the next one. Thanks.